Yeah, it's the archivist, y'all, exclusively interviewing Whitney and who is one of the most on fire MCs out of Philly, PA, the contributing Grammy Award winning Whitney Payton. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's good to be here in Van City. And let's go from the start. Who did you grow up listening to, being inspired by, and becoming an incredible artist from PA? I'm inspired by a lot of different things, but being in the suburbs of Philly, PA, I was really exposed to the mainstream before I got into the underground and saw all the independent artists that were out there. I was probably listening to Eminem, Missy Elliott, Eve, uh, Lisa Left Eye from TLC, uh, Destiny's Child, and then I got really exposed to all the underground talent out there too, so it was fresh. And you've been around for a bit. Let's hear about The Remedy, your first project. The Remedy, yeah. I mean, I've been out a few years now. The Remedy is a mostly a collaboration album. I mean, I have Gangsta Boo from 3-6 Mafia on there. I have Bizarre from D12 and, you know, a lot of other amazing artists. But, yeah, that's where it started. I just started dropping free EPs here and there just to get the momentum going. And how was it to come out of PA? Let's hear more about the scene. Any highlights like the yeah. Lehigh Valley Music Awards winning multiple years in a row? Yeah, the Lehigh Valley. The Lehigh Valley is like about an hour and a half from Philadelphia, so that's where the music is the biggest. I mean, in the suburbs where I grew up, there weren't a lot of music venues or studios to go check out, record, and perform at. So I had to go to the cities, which was the Lehigh Valley and, and Philadelphia. And I mean, there's a big music scene in Philadelphia. I, that's where Eve came out of, that's where Will Smith came out of, Beanie Siegel. Uh, Gilly the Kid, there's there's a lot and a lot that I'm not naming too pink, you know uh, So it's a big scene in Philly. It's competitive. There's a lot of artists. So you really got to stand out for yourself And No Holds Barred, break it down for us and how did it go? <laughs> no Holds Barred is just another free EP I have out there and it's a little more It's one of my more angry albums. I would say like it's like relationship like fuck relationship albums so you know, everyone needs that relationships they're never going to go out of style as far as making breakup songs. Breakup songs will always be in, you know what I mean? So that, that was my... It's always good to brush it off the shoulder, you know what I mean? It feels great. It's our emotional outlet as artists, you know? So that's how we get it out. <laughs> and on to the next, winning a Grammy for All About Bullies, Big and Small. How is yeah. the album? Well, that's funny because, you know, I don't... My solo stuff as an artist is not children's music. Um, I had a bunch of producers approach me one day and ask me to be on this uh, anti-bullying album and they said it's for kids and I was like you know I really don't do kids music but they were like it's for charity and this and that so I wrote some songs recorded for the album. The album ended up winning uh, best children's album of the year in the, in the Grammy so it was, it was a great experience being a contributing artist to that. And then winning a 2012 Gold Napa Choice Award? Oh yeah, the album won a Parents' Choice Award, it won a Napa Award, it, it, it was like the trifecta of awards you could win for children's music and I didn't even know any of that because I don't normally do kids music so I was like really? Like this, that's pretty cool, that's pretty fresh so it was tight. I mean there's a lot of bullying in schools. So. And 2009, Hip Hop Honors in NYC. How did this go for you? That's yeah, incredible. Tight. Yeah, thanks. I mean, VH1 had uh, caught wind of me. They invited me out to attend the Hip Hop Honor Awards, Honors uh, Def Jam in NYC. So I didn't have much to do with it. I just attended, but it was, it was fresh to be invited out. That was it. And it just gets larger. <laughs> Coffee cups to combat boots. Featuring Lazy Bone, Mr. Fab, Spectacular, and the homie Zion Eye. Yeah. The record is too dope. How has it gone so far? It's going well. I mean, this is tight. This is this is it right here, this EP. This is exclusive too because we have it online for free on WhitneyPayton.com. But to, to come on tour with Twisted right now, we had to press it up for y'all. So, you know, you can't get this unless you came to the tour to buy it at our merch table. So this has five tracks on it and it's to hold people over until I release a full length album. And spoken word with Unliter Us, as well as published in Rolling Stone, MTV, yeah. BET, ABC, NBC, VH1, and Comedy Central. That's a <laughs> quick push grind. I Whoa. Mean, yeah, yeah. I was that's another thing that I don't usually do. Like I was approached and asked to uh 
write like because I used to do spoken word before I did rap I did spoken word it took a second to be able to transition it onto doing beats because spoken words acapella so for me to go from acapella to beats it took a little bit of a transition but uh, I was asked to audition for a commercial in Philadelphia which was about cleaning up Philly because we are called filthy Delphia for a reason it's it's really a lot of trash out there so they were like you want to do a spoken word for a commercial I auditioned like three different times for it and then they aired it on all those different you know, MTV, BET, all around uh, Pennsylvania, and I had no idea it was going to turn into that, so it's always positive movements. It's good to have the positive things attached to the name. You know? And singles from Crazy I'm Not Sorry, Screw a Hook featuring J.J. Demon, yep. you going in and working with Gangsta Boo, Cassidy, Bizarre, yeah. and the homie Liquid Assassin. Oh yeah, Liquid Assassins, what's up? I've, I've been fortunate to do a lot of dope clubs. That's for sure, that's for sure. And opening for Tech 9 Paul Wall, Jim Jones, Shop Boys, The Locks, Joel Santana, DMX, touring with... You know more about Sean. me than I remember, about myself, shit. And the largest crowd you've ever rocked. Damn, well, it's funny because the largest crowd I rocked wasn't even opening for those any of those people. It was actually, I did a show in like North Carolina that was like, it was called The Freak Show and it was like a big car show they have that they have different acts come to. And there was no like real headliner, but it was in front of 10,000 people, 10,000. So that was tight, you know, that was really tight to look out and see just never ending. Underdog official. Underdog, that's what we always say, underdog. And what's next? Projects on tour with Twisted and next with R.A. the Rugged Man and Potluck? Yeah, this is the last date of the Canadian Abominations tour with Twisted. I go back to the United States for about a week or so and then I go right on the road for a U.S. tour with R.A. the Rugged Man and Potluck. And that's going to be probably about 50 dates. I mean, we uh, end that, we start it in October and end it in December. So I'm going to be on the road with these crazy cats for like a few months, you know. So hopefully uh, they're not too crazy on the bus, we'll see. And the new album? <laughs> the new album, yeah, I'm working on a new full-length album. Like I said, I've released a bunch of different EPs. They've all been for free download. So now I'm gonna have a full-length album come out. Technically, it's my debut album, if you can believe that. I've been around for a few years and this will be my debut album. So you guys gotta check it out. I'll, I'll release the album art and the title in, in a little bit. I can't say it yet, but I'll release it soon and your best hip-hop memory you've been part of or contributed to the best memory holy shit they're all totally different so that's like the hardest question ever one of them is really this tour to be honest because i've done so many spot dates like I've, i'm an artist that i've performed so many different places around the u.s and i've done a million different spot dates and so to be on a fully routed tour is is finally a big accomplishment for me. I mean, definitely being on the CD that won a Grammy was awesome, but this is even more cool in a way because I go on tour with Twisted in a country I've never been in before and people know the words to Crazy. They know the words to Ferris Wheel from the DJ Clay mixtape. So seeing them sing it while when I've never rocked a stage in Canada, that's the shit. And you have anything to say to Canada. I love Canada, man. Y'all are so friendly here. I don't, <laughs> you are so friendly. I mean, where I'm from, like you walk down the street and you're kind of like, what's up? And they're like, give you a look like, <laughs> what are you doing? But uh, in Canada, you guys are hella friendly. So thank you for, for all your hospitality, Canada. And you got any shouts? Shout outs. Thank you Twisted for having me on tour, inviting me on tour. Thank you RA for inviting me on tour. And thank you Canada, appreciate it. And shouts to Whitney Payton. And this is the Archivist. And you already know the name, y'all.